this evening we get to uh, participate in baptism. Uh, here at Crossroads, we love baptism as a symbol of what is happening on the inside of us. It is a really an outward expression of what God is doing inwardly in us. And that these waters, they represent the death that we have to ourselves. And then as we pull someone out of the water, it is the representation of, of the life that we have in Christ, the hope and the resurrection that we, that we have. And so tonight, uh, I have the special privilege of being in the tub uh, with one of my good friends, Marissa Hilji, and then also my beautiful wife, Sarah, uh, is in the tub. And this is special for us uh, because it was about seven years ago that Marissa and I uh, met at the young adult group here at Crossroads Church. And uh, one night after I gave a message, uh, Marissa, I don't know if you remember this or not, but you ran out in tears and I thought to myself, oh no, what did I do? You know, worst guy ever. And uh, I followed up with Marissa afterwards, and, and she shared some things and said, man, I really just need someone to be a mentor in my life. And so uh, one of the best mentors I know is my wife, and so I volunteered her uh, that, she, uh, that she gets to uh, maybe help out a young woman. And so they started a friendship uh, seven years ago, and uh, since then, Marissa and I and Sarah and her husband, Kyle, have been through Rooted together and now in a life group together. And so it is a, a joy, a personal joy uh, to be here. And Marissa is the first of 33 baptisms uh, this weekend. And so Marissa, I'm going to ask you to uh, go ahead and to share your testimony. But before you do, um, like everybody, Marissa is a little bit nervous in this tub. So just for a moment, I just told her, I promised her that everybody is for her and that I would prove it. So if you're for Marissa, would you just like shoot out some shouts and applaud uh, that you are, yeah. <laughs> All right, Marissa, why don't you share your story with us? Thank you. Woo. Okay. So thank you, Matt, for that introduction. Um, but over two years ago, I was in a spot in my life where I was unhappy. I was trying to find fulfillment in my life through unhealthy relationships, money, vacations, etc. The list goes on. I knew that something was missing, and I felt emptiness in my heart that couldn't be filled. I kept ignoring that little tug on my heart that I knew was God. I thought that I could do it all on my own, and I was afraid of giving up control. Well, I finally got to that point where I couldn't ignore it anymore, so I started making small changes. I joined um, the Rooted Group at Crossroads, and when that class ended, I knew I couldn't go back to living um, my old ways anymore. I was no longer afraid, and I finally trusted in Christ to be my personal Savior. Now I feel him calling me to not only grow deeper in my faith, but also do more as a result of that faith. And for me, baptism is an outward expression of that call. And I want to really thank a couple people who have helped me through my walk. Um, first, my husband, Kyle. Thank you for being my rock. You've patiently and lovingly stood by my side through everything. And Matt and Sarah, thank you for your encouragement and friendship. And Sarah, you truly have shown me what a real Christian woman is, and words cannot express how grateful I am for both of you. So today, I feel extremely lucky and excited to be baptized and share with all of you that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Amen. Right. Well, Marissa, based on that testimony of faith, it is Sarah and I's prep, uh, privilege and our pleasure to baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're welcome. There you are. You ladies can jump out of this cold tub. And so, we're going to go to a time of communion uh, together. That this evening, not only do we uh, celebrate the risen Savior, but we also remember uh, the life that he laid down for us at the cross. And so I'm going to invite the ushers to come down. And uh, as we pass the communion, what I'm going to ask is if you would just take the cup and take the bread and hold it as the music's played and as others are served. And then once everybody's served, Pastor Chris is going to come up and he's going to lead us uh, in communion this evening. 
And so I'm going to pray now for the communion before it's passed. So if you would bow with me. Father, we are grateful, uh, Lord, for just the chance to worship you. In song, in word, God, thank you for Pastor Kim and his reminder to us this evening, Lord, that the grave wasn't the end. It was just the beginning of, of something great for every single one of us. God, thank you for the worship that we're able to, to give, Lord, in light of Marissa's testimony. Lord, another heart that you tugged on, another heart that, that you called to yourself. Lord, I'm thankful for her testimony and her response. Lord, may that be, uh, Lord, a, a joyous moment for every one of us. Lord, hearing that story, a reminder of our faith. And now, Lord, as we go to communion, remembering your body broken and your blood spilt, Lord, I pray that these quiet moments now on, on this Easter weekend would be a chance for each one of us just to fall at the foot of the cross, to confess our sins, and to bring them to you. Jesus, we love you and we thank you. It's in your name I pray. Amen.